Good morning, friends. Uh, good morning, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Hey, I'm just in a in a funk lately, and um, I don't know. Just wanted to have a little chat. Sometimes I don't think my work is worthy to even put on YouTube, and then sometimes I just say um, I just really enjoy what I'm doing, and um, when I come into my studio, it's a place for me to escape, and um, it's my happy place. And, um, you know, I, I try to keep motivated, whether it's, um, you know, doing an entry in my little um, words of in affirmation, encouragement journals. I, I have several going at the moment, as you all know. And, um, yeah, just just brings me joy to think of at least one thing each day that um, I should be thankful for or um, meditate on instead of um, woe is me or oh, I don't feel like doing anything today or it's too hot or whatever. I try to find something positive to focus on. So um, I use different tools. I use these little journals or I use my, um, right now I'm doing a, a pocket Bible, and um, some some of people have asked for a flip through, and um, I won't do that today. But just you know, very simple page. I use um, kits from uh, different uh, ladies who make uh, journal kits or uh, Bible kits. They're not even have to be Bible kits. Some of them are just um, uh, kits, and I just print them on clear sticker paper. And I print them on four by six or five by seven, and the images fit perfectly in here. So um, right now I'm doing a series of titles, uh, title pages of the Bible, and that's from Praise and Pray. And each each month or each week she's doing two, and um, so I I keep the that page, the first page of each um, chapter reserved. For, for Lynn's kit. Okay, her name is Lynn Isabel. But then I have all these other pages that I can um, do what I'd like on. So, um, you know, I'll find a, a kit. I have some kits that I've, I've saved. And, uh, you know, this is Fear Not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. So when I'm having a really tough day, you know, I can um, do something like this. And it takes takes my eyes and my thoughts off myself and, and my problems and the problems of the world and it helps me focus on what's what's truth truthful to me. Uh, some of them uh, I made a mistake, the fan blew my pages and I put something on the wrong page and that's okay. I just embrace it and know that one day I'll have a perfect body and a perfect mind. Um, so yeah, so these are just some of my pages. I did this one yesterday. It's um we're up to Philippians, so um yeah, so this is what I do when I um, can't feel motivated to, to craft or I don't think I'm worthy. I, I go and um, I get edified. So having said that, I started this uh, challenge with uh, Rach and Bella Crafts. It's their June challenge. I don't see my notebook here with my notes, but it's their June challenge, and it's a page by... Um, called Healing Holly Hollyhocks, Rachel and Bella Crafts, and it's their June um, kit and their June challenge, and it's on their uh, group page, and I'll put a link below. So um, last week I had found a, a FedEx envelope on my desk, and I made this cover, and I wasn't loving it, so as I often do when I don't love something, I just put it to the side and know that one day I have to go back to it because I have to finish what I start eventually, okay? Because otherwise um, I don't think I'm being a good steward with my time, with my finances, and with um, my commitment to you all. So this is as far as I got. Um, check this out. I decorated the inside. I used some washi um, strips here. And I just wasn't feeling it. You know, I mean, it's it's pretty. I wasn't feeling it. So we're going to decorate the cover and figure out how we're going to tie it. 
but then I had printed all these pages, um, for, and I was just going to do a single journal, a single signature. So what I did today was um, I just made a cup of coffee and sat at my desk, and I put um, odds and ends of bits and pieces of trim that I had found in my stash. Now, there wasn't a lot of anything, but I used what I had. So I started just decorating the edges. These little snippets, there was a time, ladies, when I couldn't do these, um, I forget what you call them, but I couldn't get them right. But this time I just took um, this paper that I used for um, to do my announcement of the kit, and I just, um, you know, eyeballed maybe an inch, and this, and then I took it to the machine, I folded it over, and I um, just made my little, oh, somebody help me, what is this called? You know, my little pleats, and I just took it by the machine, I just sat there and I stitched. So I made a couple of them, and um, I, my, my idea was just to have something on, on the edge of every page, something. Okay, so that was that. Um, I also have some facts of the hollyhock that I printed out, so I want to put them in here. Okay, and I, I said that in my other video. So it has either something on here that I made. This was uh, the same principle, but with a piece of fabric. Uh, it was just an odd piece of fabric. So, um, yeah. So I threw some stuff in there. Here's another piece of the paper one. Uh, ruffle? Maybe it's called a ruffle? Here's one of um, my doily hearts that I had left over. Um, this one I left open, so we could put something in there later. Not this, but I have some other things. I, I have some other things that can go in here. Okay. Uh, more of the ribbon. See, that was my last piece, I believe. So then I um, did some more paper ones. Uh, these are from the kit. I um, should have clipped these corners. These are just pieces from the kit. I have a a little, um, I'll show you where I put all my pieces. When I prep my kits, I put everything that I think I might need into one of my little discarded meat trays. So, um, yeah, these are tags, envelopes, and things like that that were part of the kit that I've cut out. Uh, there's still some bigger tags that I haven't cut out yet. Um, this was an odd piece of, um, what do you call this, Sari ribbon. And I thought that looked nice on here with this lady. Uh, another piece of a doily up there. Odd piece of fabric. Oops, oops, a naked page, naked page. Okay, up. Uh, this is a piece of a, a petticoat. Why is that shiny? I should have, um, I don't know. I don't have many of you would turn that out, turn that around. And then just a piece of fabric. So um, that's how I got this ready. And um, in the center, I have one of my signature copy filters from my husband. Because um, I always want to remember that he was, he is my inspiration. So we'll work on um, decorating this a little bit. Uh, for the cover, I thought um, I found, I didn't find, where's that lady I stuck in here? She doesn't go in there. Um, yeah. I like her from the kit, and I just thought putting her on a piece of this um, stuff, I don't know what it's called, from Dollar Tree, putting her on here, and then I have a butterfly, um, I believe this was from Cheryl Talitha, so I'd like to put that up there. And then when it's all done, I can either tie it with, um, I found some Sari, Sari ribbon, or this is what I have left of um, the ribbon up there, and that's, this will also work, so I might, I'll probably use it, and I'll just tie it. See, and then it already looks better. 
It already looks better. I don't know that I'm going to put polka dot eyelid in there. I think I'll just tie it. Keep it simple. So um, let's just put our cover on here. Um, oh, let's see. We'll use some. I guess we'll use some of ooh, three and one. That's kind of gloppy. Let me get a piece of something. Yeah. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's Friday afternoon in the desert. I think part of my problem is that it's 100, I don't know, 104 degrees. Doesn't matter, 104, 107. It's just hot. And um, so, you know, I have to do all my running or any work that I think that I might want to do outside. I have to do early. Because now we just stay inside. And that's fine with me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do much with this. I want to keep it simple. Uh, I finished off some challenges. I like to support the different channels. Um, Rachel and Bella. And um, I'm doing a tag challenge. And I'm doing another challenge here and there. I don't know. The ladies work so hard to, to grow their pages, and if I can just um, have a little play with some things that I already have on hand and I'm not out purchasing things, I, I think that's a great way to support them and show them that I'm on their team. I want to put something on here. Um, yeah. I know Bella did her page and it's so beautiful. And sometimes I just don't I just don't feel worthy that my work is par. But I know we're not supposed to compare ourselves to others. Oops. These uh, these need a little stick. Go away. Uh maybe put it over here. Away from the Um, well, I could use a blue one as well, and this one, and then just a little pink one. Yeah, that'll be cute. Cute! You know, sometimes when you look and you find stuff and it just goes, you're like, win! It's a win! And I also had one of my leaves that I made yesterday with my um, wax seals, but I don't. I think that'll be too much on here. This is going to get folded. Yeah, let's save that. Maybe we can incorporate that someplace else. Now, see then when this is um, has a this beautiful ribbon on it. You know, something like that. To me now, it, it looks finished, and it's um, a little more palatable to me. So, I don't know. I just get down on myself sometimes. So, we're going to set this aside. And um, it's only one signature because I just made a small, um, what do you call it? Uh, I lost my word. But uh, there's not a whole lot of expansion in here, okay? So we're just going to do it like that. So let's take this out and um, put this aside to dry. And uh, there's pockets and there's words. Pockets. Lots of pockets. Or envelopes. Yeah, so let's just see what's in here. Lots of these hearts, um, 
that I was going to do something with this couple coin envelopes. Okay, so they just have to be um, glued here and here. And then you have a coin envelope. So there's two of them. Uh, more hearts. Some stamps. Oh my word. This kit was full to the brim, my friends. Some more tags. Not sure where that was from. Okay, so this is what we have. Plus, I didn't cut these out. There's flowers. Um, these I had printed teeny tiny, but I'm going to save these for something else. Okay, so we're not going to use them. These are just teeny tiny, the envelopes, but I'll use them later. So let's let's get um, let's get cracking here. So, um, you know, we could do something like that, and then these can be um, like tag holders if you just uh, glue the bottoms. So there's that thought. I already know that I want these on here, so let's... Um, my hollyhock story. You can watch my first video if you want to hear about hollyhocks. I did not know anything about them, so I had to study it. So there's three pages of these. Let's go. I put them on the darker page so you can see it, where the recipient can see it. Yeah, well, I'm glad I'm. I'm glad I'm back on this because, like I said, it was bothering me that I wasn't finishing it. So, let's do it. I have the crock pot going. I have a, a uh, chuck roast with potatoes and carrots and stuff so I don't have to cook. Sparkle doesn't like to cook when it's hot. Um, got these little flowers that look cute on here. So I might not keep you all day watching me decorate, but we'll start it and then I could uh, pause it and come back and show you what I came up with. It's just um, something I have to do today because it's what needs to be done. So, got to get caught up on watching all my girls' videos. Um, when I uh, print uh, things that I know I'm putting down, I'll use old uh, like paper that I printed by mistake or something else was on it because you're not going to see that side. So I don't, you know, that's how I don't waste my paper. So let's see. Let's see what we're going to put on there. Goodness knows I have embellishments. So, okay, that's it for that for now. Just so we get something done. That one's on there, and we can um, just put a little something on there. Rough cuts and stuff. I didn't... Um, Sometimes I don't cut if I don't know what I'm going to do with stuff. And this is um, a little ticket from there. But I think I'll pop that up. Some of these pop things from the Dollar Tree. 
yeah, that's where I get all these goodies from. Because then I want to leave, I want to leave the rest of the page for embellish for journaling. So that's why I printed these on lighter paper, so everything wasn't so dark. Okay, that one's glued on there. Let's see. Um, let's put that up there, and we'll pop that up as well. Yeah. And so just so you know you have something going in there. Um I wanted I think I wanted to put this on the cover. The very first page is that blue lake. So I think we will glue do our little um our little what is this called? Point envelope. That is a very tight fit because I cut that very tight. But it should be okay. Make sure it didn't go through. Yeah. And then we'll just um the bottom. And I printed this on both sides, but I forgot to print this um, full, full sheet, so it's got that white core, but this looks fine. Okay. So, I don't know if I, I think I'm just going to glue the bottom. Just gonna glue the bottom because then you could have like a little pocket. Um, sort of like the side tuck. Yeah, let's just leave that for now. I'm not um, real sure what I want to do there, so we just. Wanted to remember that before I forgot. So now we have some of these hearts, and there's um, quite a few. So um, I did them on both sides. I printed on both sides. So yeah, I was thinking of um, just gluing the edges down, or like a V. And then they could be tuck spots. And then this one again, you would just do the V down here. And um, leave that, that open. Okay. Now I don't have enough goodies to... Um, putting all of these right now so I'm going to have to um, you know cut some more images out or uh, oh, I can use some of these stamps but you get the idea so that um, there's a little something there okay these are too need something longer so yeah, I'll have to cut some more images for that. Uh, let's see, we have a pocket. We have a pocket. We have um, this kind of pocket. Um, if you don't seal it, you could put white paper in here so it could be like a journal place. 
Uh, these are just flip over pockets. So I'm going to um, I'm going to glue this one down. Glue it together. And put that one on here. So I'm just going to um, put that there. And in this one, again, I didn't watch uh, my printing and I didn't do a full sheet, so it does have some white core showing, but it's not going to matter because if you put something in there, not going to show. So I am going to anchor this one down on three sides. And I put one of these envelopes in here for now that sort of matches the pattern here. Okay, so we'll just do a couple more. Um, let's, let's just, hmm. this one we're going to, well, I'm sorry, can't see me, can't see me. This one, I'm going to just glue the center here and leave it so that you can open it and journal in here. So, just gluing it here. And... I'll have to get some of my little Tim Holtz paper clips and um, we can paper clip it up here. And I'll have to get them out of my stash. But yeah, then we can paper clip that together here. Is there anything we could use in the mean, meantime? Uh, this is too thick, but you know, we'll put a little paper clip there. So, um,. I'm going to leave you for now. I'm going to go decorate, and I'll be back, and I can show you the reveal. Okay, this is as far as I'm going today. We're going to untie it. And I had some issues getting my signature in, which I've never had issues with. So that sort of discouraged me a little bit. But anyway... I'm going to leave these um, goodies here for now, and um, they can be customized later to the recipient. Uh, I'll just do a brief flip through of the pages that I did use. I did use up all the elements that I had cut. So here are some heart pockets, and I'm going to cut some more things, and you can put them in there. I'm just trying to use the items that are in, in the kit from Rachel and Bella, okay? So here's um, part of the story you saw this before. I mean, some of the pages are just so beautiful, they don't need anything. But I'm going to add some words and stuff. Here's one of the pockets. And, um, you know, I cut some of these little ones for minis, and I'm just going to put them in here for now. Because um, they're just so beautiful. Okay, and this one I left open, um, so you can write in here. And um, I will find one of my little paper clips for this later. I always try to put some scripture in my book. Here's a little um, something you can write on, tuck in there. Here's another heart pocket. And I used my little leaf with the wax seal. Here's a piece of lace. This was from a um, belly band that's further back in the book. 
And this was um, a gift that I won from a challenge. I believe it was from Marcy Coates. Um, this is a piece of vellum that I cut for something, but I didn't use it, so I put it in here. Or not vellum. I printed on tracing paper. I'm sorry, tracing paper. Okay, I do have some of these other flowers I'll cut up and use. Okay, this I just uh, put up, made a pocket, uh, just like a side tuck. So I didn't use these as tags. I just used them as side tuck, and I might put some lace or something on them later. And then here's another little pocket, and that's on the back of the vellum from that other sheet. Um, this is just a pocket, and it has... It could be a tuck here, and it has the flowers in here, which fell through, so I'll have to dig them out later. But there's flowers in here, so I'll get them out later. Um, this was beautiful on its own. Especially if I'm going to be giving this away, then the person that gets it can do what they want with it. Okay, so here's the rest of the belly band, and it's um, paper and lace. Very cute. Uh, my coffee filter did not make it into my spine because I was having trouble into my signature. So I wrapped it around another piece of vellum. So this can go in the book wherever um, you'd want to put it. But I just thought this was really sweet. Really sweet page. Just so pretty. And yet, you know doesn't have to be full. Here's another one that could be a side pocket. This is one of the uh, coin envelopes, so you could use it accordingly. And then this is my little signature flip. I like to put these on. It's just a little um, book, and then you can uh, journal in here. It's got a couple pages. And that's it. Another piece of the um, belly band lace, and that's it, my friends. That's all she wrote. I'm going to um, be content and, and say that this is done. Uh, when it's gifted or um, the recipient gets it, we can um, doll it up some more if we choose to. But that's all I have for now. So have a blessed, beautiful day, and thanks for hanging out with me. Bye now.